Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals, the basics, the beginning of SketchUp. Today, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into Follow Me. Follow Me is a great tool. It's actually, we saw last video, it's pretty easy to get into, but there are some, I don't even want to call them advanced use cases, but there's some ways to use it that go a little bit beyond what we did in the last video. Um, we are going to step into a couple things that, uh, as of this filming, have not been covered in Square One video, things like like groups and welding, um, they're still coming. If you already know about them, that's great. If you've already been around and used Follow Me a bunch, hey, maybe you'll pick up something new. Uh, but do your best, and uh, that's all we can ask. Let's take a look. Okay, so uh, what I want to look at with Follow Me um, is the idea of how grouping works with Follow Me. So right here, I did this. I drew, I drew four lines. And then I created a profile that I want to extrude along them. That profile is inside a group. So if I do like we did in the last video, the last video will be linked to down in the description, by the way. So if you're getting here and haven't seen the one before, please take a few minutes to go watch that one because it does cover the basics. If I get that and then I go to follow me, when it asks me now, it's saying select face to extrude. When I hover over this face, you see you get the little anti. Nope, can't do it. Won't let you do it. I can click as many times as I want and it's not gonna let me do that. So, I'm not out of luck. I don't have to explode this. What I can actually do is I can right click on the group. So while I'm still in Follow Me this whole time, then I can say Edit Group, still inside Follow Me. Look at my cursor. I saw the Follow Me icon on there, and now I can pick the face. That will take that shape, do the Follow Me, and now I can just right click Close group. And now here's the cool part. If I look underneath here, we go into select. Here's my original line that I followed. See, I'd go in there, there, and there. And here's my follow me shape. Because it was in a group when I started, that face pulled around and the new geometry is all inside that same group. So this is kind of a weird or simple example, obviously. We're, we're, this is square one this is what we're doing, right? We're at the beginning. So this is a weird example, but to take that a bit further, let's look at this shape over here. So I got a mocked up building right here. What I might want to do is I might want to have this follow me shape come around the top of this building, but I don't necessarily want the geometry of this shape to meld or connect to the shape of the building. So this is something else we didn't do too much of, but I don't need standalone lines. I can actually select a series of lines to follow me that are not by themselves. So all these lines that I'm picking right now are actually edges of this top face. So I can select all those tools, follow me, right click on the group, edit group, pick the face, and I can right click and close the group. And now, this geometry, this geometry right here, if I move that up, look, so I can take it right off of there, it doesn't connect. If I hadn't done that, if I'd just done it with raw geometry, I would get this. So it would follow me, but guess what? That geometry would then be connected to the house, and I don't have the ability to move it. I can't set the, the, the visibility separate. I can't add it to a different tag. I'm kind of stuck there. Um, and keeping it in a group is sometimes a good thing with Follow Me. All right, one more example of some <clears throat> nice way to use Follow Me. So here I have a uh, pipe, so, so a line that I want. I want some pipes to follow this. So one thing I could do is I could draw a bunch of circles. I could draw these circles solid, select this path, and then say Follow Me, then select the path again, say Follow Me, select the path again, say Follow Me, or, you can see what I did right here, I drew a rectangle and then cut the, cir the circles out of it that I want to follow. Now, you're to follow, just, just trust me on this one. Just follow me through this example. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all these lines. And one thing I might want to do when I use follow me is once I have my line selected like this, if it's a throwaway path, this is a path, this line I don't actually need once I get my pipes extruded, what I might want to do is select, right click, and click weld edges. This is a function in uh, 2020 or newer, but you can weld those edges together like that. Then I have one line to select. I'm going to go to Tools, Follow Me, 
and pick this shape. So the shape is again just a rectangle with holes punched in it. And we'll go ahead and run that shape. There we go. Now, once that's done, what I can do is if I delete these shapes on the outside, look what I'm left with. I could have done that one pipe at a time, but it would have taken me a while because you have to select the path, then choose follow me, then choose the face. So I'd have had to do that same process multiple times. What I can't do is I can't select the path once and say, follow me this one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, this, by, by figuring out what the profile would be beforehand, allows you to have multiple shapes follow in a single follow me session. Okay, so like I said, a little bit more advanced than normal square one, but it is fundamental to thinking about how to use follow me. I mentioned it before, if you haven't already watched it, the, the original follow me video is linked down below in the description. Um, but they're good concepts to keep in mind. Even if you don't fully understand how to use them right this second, they're good concepts to think about how you're gonna go about using follow me and getting the most out of that command. If you like that, please click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week. We got Skill Builder, Square One, sometimes a live video, and you'll be notified of each and every one of those if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave a comment down below. Most if not all of our content nowadays is derived from comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.